What's up, guys? This is Tampa Tech, and this is my son. D Man. Like a demon? Like devil? No, D Man. D Man. Oh, D Man. The Mon? No, D Fart. Oh, no. He farts in <laughs> all my videos. So, in this video, we're going to try to fix a Nintendo Switch. We bought this Nintendo Switch broken. It was only working in console mode, and now it's only working in handheld mode. But the screen's all messed up, as you can see. But if you go into settings, so I go into my system settings, and I thought it was the brightness, but it, apparently it's not the brightness because, as you can see, the brightness settings are set really low. See that? And you can barely see it. See it like. And the touch screen works. <laughs> it's silly. So, for some reason, the screen looks all washed out looking. Well, I watched a lot of videos on YouTube. Uh, my mate Vince, and it looks like this chip tends to go bad. It's like kind of like a common thing that goes bad in the Nintendo Switches. So let's go ahead and get started. My son's gonna help me I fix the. No. Yeah. What's up, guys? Tampa Tech. All right. So let's get started. All right, Devin. Why is it turning back on? Can you just reset it? <laughs> Turn off. This thing is so annoying. All right, just we're gonna take out the battery, right? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and remove all the parts. You're gonna need this piece right here. This one. Try this one. Can I try this one? There you go. So farting in my videos. All right, go. And there's a screw missing here. So keep that in mind. And there is a screw on the sides. Is and the screw the right screws? here. No, that's a tri screw. How come that doesn't use tri screws? Oh, the, the security bits? Security screws, you mean? Yeah. Alright, take off this plate. We're gonna have to unplug the battery so it doesn't short out everything. So you got here, here. You gotta be real careful because if you drop the screws on the circuit board, it'll destroy the circuit board. It's missing this piece too. Alright. Why is it wet? Oh, oops, sorry. Oh, my lord almighty. I didn't know it was still wet. Why is it wet? I thought it will dry. This is called thermal paste. It transfers the heat. All right, so let's go ahead and clean that up. Oops. All right, now the most important thing is unplugging the battery. Yeah, okay. So that, we're safe. All right, let's go ahead and we're going to have to um, take everything off because we're going to have to resolder that chip. And this is how small that chip is. I'll put the battery back in. Why is the battery in? Dad, the battery's in. Why'd you uh, put the... I could have shorted everything out. Why'd you do that? I told you the battery's in. Why did you put it back I in? I didn't. You accidentally did when you like did that and you, know, you pushed it in. No, I got the video. I think I just shorted it something out mm -hmm. because I was I had my metal tweezers on it. Can I just see my finger now? There we go. How do people make electronics? Mm. Like everything has a meaning and how do you know like how to do this? This reminds me of that one thing that you had, they like connect those like metal copper things with that battery pack. You try to make like a little airplane launch helicopter thing. This one's one of the hardest ones to put back on. So is a case that doesn't go to a certain device. Like I tried like putting a Game Boy Pocket case on 
a Game Boy. No, I tried. Yeah, yeah, I tried putting a Game Boy Pocket case onto a Game Boy Color, and it didn't work. All right, take the screws out right here and here. Okay. How did you steal that from me? I was using that. All right, be careful. This is really fragile. It's not fragile. All right, put that. It's magnetic. That's why I'm pulling it off. You see, look, I'm like a boss. Mm -hmm. Where's my other screws? All right, double check everything. You got all the ribbon cable connections off? No, not this one. Oh, good eye. Thanks. That's for the speaker. It's off, it's off. Stop farting. Go. <laughs> Come on, I want to. I want to work, and you, you can't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need this. <laughs> I'll smell instantly. Parts in the video. Definitely, I am. <laughs> the girls are gonna think you're disgusting. Good. Don't damage my mat. Fine, I won't damage your mat. I don't think I need to take that off. Yes, you do. You need to rip it off. Yeah, there's a screw right here. It's covered by the fan right there. That's why we have to take it off. I didn't have to take off the fan last time. Uh, no, we're taking it off this time. No, 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 don't do anything yet. Don't break the circuit board, bro. Why are you being extra? You're trying to like slick it on the side. We're taking the fan off. Just take the fan off. It makes it so much easier. Think smarter, not harder. Are you like completely ignoring me? Think smarter, not harder. Yes, and that doesn't make any sense. You're pulling the circuit board under the fan instead of just like un getting work rid of the smarter, fan. not harder. Not think work. Yeah. Smarter, not think smarter, not harder. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. Messed up that saying. I don't care. All right, we took the board out and now we flip it over. And this is the video chip that we're talking about right here. So that is commonly that commonly goes bad. And sometimes the capacitors nearby go bad too. So maybe there's a bad capacitor, who knows. I can't see it. Doesn't it have to be like this? Yeah. Yeah. You guys can see right there, right? So I had um, Zoom in. Zoom in? You said zoom in. Oh my gosh, you just said zoom in. Alright, let's go ahead and check the capacitors and see if I overlooked something. Or maybe it just needs to be reheated, reflowed. Or maybe it's a um, lap connection. So I put my black lead right here on a ground source ground beef 
and we're going to check some of the capacitors. So that's actually good. If it was shorted, it would read shorted on this side and this side. That's the ground side. So that's normal. That's the ground side. Is that shorted? Maybe it is. No. So that's good actually. Good in the hood. That's good. So we're going to check all the capacitors around this IC. And that's ground. That's good. It's not shorted. If it was shorted, it would read shorted on this side with that side. So that's good. So this is the ground side, and that's where my lead is, right there. My positive lead is touching the opposite side of the capacitor, and there's no short. So this is shorted to ground. Well, it's just tied to ground. And this is a good capacitor because it's not reading shorted. You would hear a beep. I think I just need to heat this up. So you want to go ahead and try that, Devin? Yeah, I'd love to put a fire. I'm a freaking pyro. This actually can melt your flesh. So you should treat it with respect. Things that can actually physically harm you permanently, you should treat it with respect, like guns and knives. Should let kids play with. It's not turning on. There we go, reset it. This is me in the morning after when I don't brush my teeth, aka me every morning because I don't brush my teeth. Hold it steady. Don't let it touch. You have to be like this far away. If you let it touch, you'll just destroy the circuit board forever. What am I aiming at? This chip right here. Okay, let me aim. Zoom out. Wait, you can't zoom out on that. Mm -hmm. We're just going to reheat it and then put it back together and see what happens. Time lapse. Or maybe should we take it off and then clean no. it up? Because the stuff on the top, the flux, is that flux on it? It's going to melt and you should have a time lapse. It'll look satisfying. You have to go like this right here, above it. Like that. Oh my gosh, fine. I'm good, bro. Don't let it touch the microscope. Touch the microscope? Nope, you're not aiming. Ah, fire! Oh, damn. Oh, that's gnarly, bro. Oh, I just burned myself. <laughs> Are you good? You need to pay attention. Here, look. Oh, that hurts. Uh, All right, here. You touched the Grab metal, Grab it right bro. there on that chip, right there. See that black chip yes, that's rectangular? Right, you can let go. You can let go. You, you're the one that touched it. Oh, my God. Are you good? That's third Go put ice on it. Go ice it. All right, keep it right there. Dude, I have it literally right there. Go ice it. Uh, damn it. Yikes. Not my fault. He was the one that touched the metal. I had it perfectly still and he touched it. It's your fault. I didn't do anything. Should I touch it? I don't know what it feels like. My nose kind of gruesome about that. Pay attention. What are you doing? I'm literally paying attention. Yeah. My nose really gruesome about that. What? I heard a sizzle. Like, your hand literally cooked. Isn't that gnarly? Totally gnarly, dude. It was like... Alright. So I'm going to just take it off and then clean it up a little bit. Just ready to take off? Mm. 
Okay, make sure you don't like slap me whenever you're putting it back. Is your wall not gonna melt? All right, so now what we're gonna do is clean it up a little bit more. Cause I don't think I cleaned it up good enough. How does your wall not melt? It doesn't. Like the paint. Yeah, Can I do it? It's far enough away. Right. Yeah, go ahead. So basically what you're gonna do is spray it. Oh, not, be careful with that because we're gonna need that later on. What's that cooking? All right, don't do too much. I pushed it and you moved the board. Like the other side of the board's warm. You can see it now. All righty. Devin, clean it. Devin? Devin, clean. Chuku, chuku, chuku. More. Put this in small motion. Ed, you should put this in slow motion right here. See the bristles just moving back and forth to clean it? Mm -hmm. Ice, ice, ice. Um, 480 Celsius, that's what we use to remove the chip. That's what you burned your finger with. Mm -hmm. Can I see your finger? That's like the surface of mercury. Is it? You just touched the surface of mercury? Congratulations, you're the first. Let me see your finger. Aww. It's gonna blister, definitely. Uh -huh. I'm gonna pop it while you're sleeping. That's great. There's like a little town of capacitors. So just to show you how small this part is, look at that. So I have an idea. If I use a little bit of flux, it should stick to that spot. As you have that flux for a year, two years, a couple years. It lasts a long time. All right, so my son is going to actually fix his own Nintendo Switch. I'm just gonna line it up for him. He's gonna solder it. All right, now where's the solder? All right, so it's already on there. I just is had it? it. Yeah. So I use flux, so it bonds better. That does not look like it's properly on. Mm-hmm. Let's see. It should float into place. So, Devin, we got it set at 480. 480? Oh, that's too hot. And then go ahead and put it directly above it. Don't touch the metal. And you're going to see it liquefy. Keep on going. You want to go maybe like a couple inches above it, maybe an inch. A little bit closer, straight above it, though. And wave it back and forth a little bit. Slowly. Don't. No, I don't like this. Dude, your fingers are too close. No, I got this. All right, go ahead. No, you don't. Stop. Don't make me nervous. <laughs> You're making me nervous. All right, go ahead. Keep on heating it up. No, this it's is moving. A bad idea. It's moving. Dad, this is a bad idea. Heat it up directly above the IC. You're heating up the wrong parts. No, I'm not. I'm literally heating up. Freaking All right, look down the whole time. Ah! It's like an earthquake or something. Oh wait, I think it's almost in. Heat it up all the way around. Like, go left and right on it. I think we're good. Just heat it up a little bit more. And on uh, both sides of it. I can't get that side. You do it. I'm scared. I think you did it, though. No, I didn't. Looks like it's lined up good. I don't know, I think we're going to give it a try. I think this goes on next. Uh, plug in the battery. Carefully. Evenly. Why are you checking it? That's good. It triggers me that you had to check it. Alright, well, let me unplug it and you do it by yourself? Yes. Don't freaking check it. 
push hard though. Okay. Don't check it, don't stop looking. Let's check it. I must not check my fingernails. Alright. I turn it on, and this is what I get. So everything looks like it's working, but it's not. Let me show you. Ah, this thing's really frustrating me. So uh, let's go ahead and enter. Let's go to settings. Now it looks like it's working, right? But it's actually not. Like all these settings are working, right? It looks like everything's good. But if I change the theme, let's go back. And I click on this. You see the ring? It's like a weird washed out ring around it. It's really strange. Let me show you. It just doesn't look right. I don't know if you notice that. I don't know if that's normal. I don't think it's normal. Right? That can't be normal. But if everything looks great. Like, not great, but everything looks okay, and it's playable in handheld mode, but his game that he got for Christmas, is uh, the EV game, has to be in console mode for some reason. <laughs> and I had it working in console mode. When I bought it broken, the screen wasn't working, and it only worked in console mode. But now, when I replace the chip, the audio-video chip, now it only works in handheld mode and doesn't work in console mode. And the game I got him, I didn't know, only works in console mode. So he can't play his Christmas gift. That EV, Pokemon EV game. Oh my god, so frustrating. And now he kind of wishes that it was only working in console mode instead of handheld mode because, you know, at least he'd be able to play that game. But it's so frustrating, this thing. It's I don't know if you guys can post a comment below. Right there. If you guys can post a comment below, what to check. I checked the capacitors. I mean, I don't know how to check an IC because I don't have schematics for it. Took this, I took this thing apart a few times and I reheated the IC chip like twice. I even put the old IC chip back in. Yeah, that looks good to me. I don't see anything wrong with that. Maybe if I reset it, hold down the power button. Someone said if you hold down the power button and volume down. Let's see if that works. You hold it down for like 15 seconds, it does something. It forces shuts it down, does it like a reset. And everything turned off. Okay, and let's turn it back on. See, this is what I'm talking about. See that white edges? Something, it still doesn't look right. It doesn't seem right. It's playable, but it just doesn't look right. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you know anyone that this video may help or can help me, go ahead and click on the share button below. Share this video to them. And subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.